About 10 years ago, Blackmagic Design started making cameras, and we at Skyhoy were the first to make an RCP for those cameras. Today, both our products have evolved into RCP Pro and Colorfly, and Blackmagic Design, they offer even more ways to control the cameras. So with rest control added to these cameras, we can once again demonstrate that our products are market leading in providing the flexibility you need and sometimes also the workarounds when necessary. So what is this all about rest control? Well, let me explain a little history to you. See, this product, Ethernet SDI Link, is still one product that we sell at Skyhoy. And what it does, it's, it combines or it communicates data to these cameras from Ethernet through the SDI to the camera. So this is one way you can control these cameras. So basically the video signal would carry the instructions for how to control color and lens, etc. So rest goes over an ethernet cable, a more modern approach. And one of the advantages is that we can get information back from the cameras. So with this method, you couldn't, you could only send it one way. Even if you used an ATEM switcher in between, it would still be a one-way track, even though the ATEM would be like the central hub knowing all these details. But with REST Ethernet, we can now talk straight to the camera. So that's the basic thing. And we have it in this Studio Camera 4K Pro. We have the Pixis camera, Ethernet jack on the backside, and the Ursa G2 camera over here that requires a little USB-C to Ethernet adapter, but it's not a problem. So these cameras can all be controlled. And what you see here is the RCP Pro, which is our flagship RCP. It has this amazing joystick. And on top of it, you'll see the f-stops of the lens. And as I'm moving this, I hear a clicking sound in the lens on the studio camera right here. That RCP can actually control the pixels in the middle as well. You see that has a different uh, aperture right now. And then finally over to the Ursa, which is the one that we can see on the screen. And you see I'm, I'm controlling the lens with a joystick here. Next to me, we have the Colorfly. That represents another approach to control. If you, especially if you have multiple cameras you want to control on a single compact unit, this is the product to go with. And it has motorized faders. So you can see as I'm moving the joystick over here, I am talking to the camera. The camera is getting that information back onto that fader as I'm moving this uh, joystick over here. All right, so those are two options from Skahoy, and they are using the same software to talk to the cameras. The UI you see on the screen here is from the, let me see, the Colorfly actually, yes. And you see how the Colorfly is connected to the IP address of each of these cameras. Again, we are not talking through an ATEM switcher, we're not talking through an Ethernet SDI link, we are talking straight to the cameras on each their individual IP address. And the RCP Pro has a similar interface, looks exactly exactly the same. And that RCP Pro will also talk to the cameras. So we see that communication forth and back because it all goes through the network. Hey, this is a big thing for us because this is new. All the time we had to only smash data at Blackmagic's cameras, but now we can also read it back. There are two small things that still are workarounds. And they are interesting. So one thing is that um, for the zoom on the lenses, we can only like set an absolute position of the zoom. That means right now, over rest, we cannot like make a smooth zoom like you would expect if you have a, a, a joystick on a PTC controller. It may come one day. We are talking to Blackmagic Design about it all the time. And the final thing is that over the control protocol, you can, you would also expect to set tally. So with the Ethernet SDI link, you can send a tally signal to the cameras and their tally lamp would light up in, in uh, green or in red. Over the REST API, you cannot set tally, so you still need one of these or your ATEM switcher to set tally. You can read tally back from the camera, so you will be able to conclude whether it lights up green or red. Interesting choice. Maybe that will be changed in the future as well. Now, I want to show you a, a few cool things about this two-way communication. So when I use the joystick on the RCP Pro, I am adjusting the lens here on the Ursa, and if I grab the iris wheel, you can see that even though it's coming back to this value because it's currently not in manual mode, you see the readout on the joystick. Now, let me show you what happens if I change over to the Pixis camera just next to here. So with this camera, I can also adjust the aperture. And again, if I turn the ring on the lens, you see that readout coming back here on the joystick, now back into auto mode. All right, so let me just 
all the way back into auto. There we go. Okay, so now I'm at F10. When I go back to the Ursa camera, it's at 4.2, but it probably were in a different mechanical position. I want to show you, just notice what happens now. It's not going to jump. It's just going to pick up at 4.2 and go from there. And this is how the RCP Pro, despite the joystick being a mechanically fixed component, it will actually remember where it was before, and then it will calculate how to use the joystick from that position. So that's a little cool detail on the RCP Pro. I just wanted to mention that. But at the same time, you also saw how we get that lens feedback onto the controller. And I wanted to point that out. I want to also end this video by showing you presets because we have something unique in our controllers. As I said, we are market leading in flexibility. And one of the things that we can give you is two types of preset you won't get from Blackmagic Design. That is lens presets. Great if you want to put these cameras onto a PT head. So for pan, tilt and zoom operation and recall presets. And we also have color presets. So first the color presets. Now let's use the uh, color fly for this little exercise. On the color fly, we have a menu. It is basically the same menu that you also find on the RCP Pro, but we have it here, we have multiple pages. On this uh, menu, we can go through exposure settings, exposure settings in, in various uh, for, uh, types, and the gain settings are where we are basically controlling gain, lift, and gamma are the, the basic color settings on a Blackmagic camera. Now, look at the output from the Ursa here. And uh, actually, let me just zoom out a little bit. So we'll just do that on the camera. I'll show you later how we can do it on the control panel. Okay, we are here. Let's adjust the gain. So first of all, we have here a little bit. Um, that's like black gamma. We can adjust the, the colors. So let me do that so you can really see a difference. Let's move on to the next page. There we have lift. And we modify the image a little bit. I think this is more or less enough. These are the color shading parameters that you want to go with. Now, we can store those as color presets. So if I press and hold this button down, it is going to store these color settings. Now, let's just bring them to something else so that we can again see a difference. So these would be yeah, different color shading styles. And I'll save that to preset number three. You can now recall the first preset by pressing this button. So you see that's preset number two, preset number three, preset number two. That is a unique Skahoi feature on these controllers. They actually are so flexible that you can decide which parameters in the cameras are being stored in these color presets. So you can exclude some or you can add some. Anything you can control in the Blackmagic camera can be stored in such a preset. And on preset zero, I think that I sort of have a neutral offset. The second type of preset is lens preset. Okay. So if we go to the lens menu, in the lens menu, I am able to work with, for instance, the zoom. I can also work with the focus. You see focus here. I can execute autofocus, but I can set the zoom of the lens. That's great. By the way, you see the, the value here on the display is changing again, because when I'm operating the lens directly, we are reading those values back. That's the rest magic you see right there. All right. So what I wanted to show you is that I want to save this as a preset. So we have something called lens presets and that's in the controller as well. So pressing and holding this button, lighting up green, it now stored this position. All right. So going back just one step here in my menu or fourth, ah, back there lens. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right. To that position. And I go to my lens preset right here and I press and hold to store this preset for the lens. And now as I'm pressing this lightly, I recall the first zoom position, pressing this one, I recall the second zoom position. Now, this is important because when you put your Ursa G2, your Pixis camera or your studio camera onto a pan and tilt head, you want to have a command that can recall a zoom position because the pan tilt head has a pan and a tilt position. And that's another thing in different videos we've talked about it. We call it combo devices. That is when Skahoy takes your equipment, the pan tilt head and the camera, separate things, combines it into a single unit that from an operator perspective works as if it were was a PTC camera. All right. And this feature is a part of that because we can recall very important in PTC cameras, recalling pan, tilt, and zoom positions, including focus and iris, which is also a part of this lens preset that I just showed you.
Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe so you won't miss out on our news about control integrations with all your favorite broadcast gear. And we also have a presence on Facebook, Instagram and X as well as a newsletter. So those places are great ways to stay in touch with us as well. And you are always welcome to reach out to our sales and support team as well if you have questions that are best answered by a real human being. And we always love to hear from our awesome customers.